Oh my god, you guys, it's here! Believe it or not, this is the last stationery item that I plan on buying for 2023. That might not seem that way because I still have a quite a few things that I want to post and unbox, but I... <sighs> bought like way too much stuff and I need to reel it back in. Essentially, I ordered like two sailors within the span of a week and I kind of realized that I need to limit myself and told myself that if I buy this pen, then I won't buy anything for the rest of the year regarding stationery. If anybody gifts me anything, that's fine. And if I can use affiliate credit, then that's fine. But no more cash is going into this hobby. All right, let's get into it. I can't wait to show you guys what it is. I ordered this pen from Amazon Japan and actually the reason that I wanted it so badly is because I was watching it and then I saw the price drop like $50 so I was so shocked and I was like this never happens. And so I ordered it immediately and it took about two weeks to arrive. But in that time, the price actually dropped even more. So I want to get this video out there as soon as possible in case you guys also want to take advantage of the deal. I'll link it down below. The prices fluctuate for sailor pens on Amazon. So I don't know how long this deal will stay. But if you guys are interested in this pen, you should definitely consider picking one up because it is at a really good price right now. So as I was saying, it is from Amazon Japan, but you can purchase it through the regular US Amazon interface and it just ships from Japan. We get a sailor pamphlet that has the history of sailor and how to use the pen. We also get some more cards and some paperwork. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Okay, it comes with two ink cartridges. I still have some, so I'm going to probably use what I have, but... Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, let's cut this open. So this pen is the Winter Rain pen in the Sailor Shikiori Rain Collection series. And it came out a few years ago. Wow. Um, it came out a few years ago, which is probably why the price is a little cheaper now. But this is a really timeless and classic pen. It has a matte finish. It's kind of like this translucent purple pink tone to it. And it's got gold trim. Wow, it has a 21 karat gold nib. This is my first time trying this type of nib. I've only ever tried their 14K. Holy smokes, look how beautiful that is. So it's got gold and silver colors. The ends have little pink sparkles. Yeah, pink sparkles and it's kind of clear. There's the finial. But it's super cute. The cap says Sailor Japan founded 1911. Oh my gosh. There is no experience better than unboxing a new Sailor. Look how small it is. It's so cute. It's definitely one of the Pro Gear Slims. I swear they look smaller every time I unbox a new one. That's just not true, obviously, but. Wow, this is the first one I have in a matte finish and I really, really like it. This is the most beautiful pen I've ever owned. Is that a bold statement? No, it's not. It's so beautiful. I do wish it came with a converter because you pay so much. They should really offer one. Okay, I'm gonna go clean these out, ink it up, 
and we can look at a writing sample. You guys, what I noticed almost immediately from washing this is that I don't like how the semi-translucent sections, they can, you can see if there's liquid trapped in there. So this is water, I'm guessing. Do you guys know if there's any way to get the water out without having to take the entire nib and feed out? I mean, it kind of bothers me, but I can get used to it, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and use one of the cartridges. I should really go and get a converter for my sailor pens, but I still haven't. Pop that in there, and then we are going to have to wait. Oh, okay. Do we not have to wait? Was that because of the water? Okay, maybe we can... Uh, start writing with it right now. Wow, I really like the feel of this pen in my hand. The matte texture is just so different from the normal Pro Gear slams that I'm used to. It feels very elegant. It writes so well! Okay, this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Shaky Ori 2 Toe Toe or Winter Rain Part of the Sound of Rain series. This writes so well, you guys. I don't know why though, I am getting a little bit of moisture here, like I can still feel like there's water. Maybe it's my hand? I do like to post my pens. Not posted, it's actually a little bit short for my hand. I think I have pretty small hands. It's not that it's uncomfortable, but it does feel like it's gonna slide out of my hand and posting it gives it more support. So this is a medium fine. I believe they only come in medium fines. Nib. 21 karat bicolor nib. Wow. It has the same sailor feedback. This is really nice. It writes so well. I'm obsessed. Oh wow. I don't know if you can see but it has the anchor and it says 21K and it has that beautiful design on there. I'm so happy that I get to add this to my collection. I never thought I would be a sailor girl and I would see people on Instagram with so many sailors and kind of just be like, all right, calm down. But I don't know, I'm in a sailor season. And like sometimes I'm just, just minding my own business and I just crave the sound, the soothing sound of a sailor nib on paper. One of the most calming yet inspiring sounds in the fountain pen community. Ooh. I don't know if it, I mean, I, I don't think it was snug when I posted it. <sighs> so pretty. 
We're going to compare it to the other sailor that I have. It's a 14 karat gold nib and you can probably tell the difference. Like this one is matte, this one's glossy. Both are beautiful works of art. Sailor does a really, really good job with creating a very calming and elegant aesthetic and also like they name their pens with beautiful names and there's always a wonderful backstory behind the inspiration especially regarding the four seasons oh this one has more feedback than this one. Is that right? Yes, definitely. Oh, wow, okay. I read something where someone was saying the 21 karat gold nib, even though it's 21 karat, it is not much more noticeably different because it's on the Pro Gear Slim model. You'd probably find more of a difference if you upgraded to the King of Pens, but I think you can tell a difference. Ooh. I hope it's not just the ink. This one has Robert Oster. Cafe Crema. I hope it's not just the ink, but I think I can tell the difference when I write the... Oh, wow. This one requires less pressure from me. This one, I think I need a little more pressure to kind of get the same line with. Not line with, but like effect. Okay, I don't know if I'm just too shy about posting this because I don't want it to scratch or anything like that. I don't think it would, but I just don't want it to scratch because I feel like if you do get a scratch, it's more visible on this type of barrel. That's just, that's my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> There's no like science behind it that I can give you. But yeah, hopefully I'll get more comfortable with posting this and that it won't just slip off. Wow. Okay, so let me show you a side by side and let's see if we can find some differences and similarities between the two pens. They're obviously both the same length. I don't know why when I unbox it, it always seems smaller, even though I'm used to having the pen. But actually, now that they're side by side, this pen looks more normal. <laughs> um, okay, so we have the two finials. I, can, I swear this one is like, the color behind the anchor is dark blue and this one's black. And then we have obviously the clear finial with small shimmer sparkles that are kind of pink. This one has larger shimmer particles that are gold. The gold between the two is actually different. This one's more of a soft gold, and this one is more of a bold, harsher gold color. They both say Sailor Japan founded 1911. Whoa. This one, actually, this is a small detail, but the clip, oh, by the way, the clip, they're like pretty standard. Very firm but it's flexible but not like overly flexible but it's got it's pretty good the clip goes directly down and this is sailor whereas on here it kind of just goes down and runs into the text for founded but i like how i don't know if this was intentional or not but i like the, how it lines up with their brand name moving down the pen we still have the gold rings on the ends and oh, the clear finial is cool because you can kind of see into the pen but not really it's neat it reminds me of looking 
into the ends of gel pens. As for the inside, like I mentioned earlier, it's pretty obvious that there's ink inside of here or water, so I don't really like that. And on this side, you can't tell with this resin. So there's that. The nibs are different because one's 14 karat, one's 21 karat, and this one has a bicolor. This one's all one color. And then they are both medium fine nibs. I feel like this feed is lighter, but that might just be me. Like this one looks like black and this one's like a dark, dark gray. This is really cool. Wow. All right. So that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Please run and get one of these pens. If you use my Amazon Associates link, it is affiliated, so I do get a small commission if you click on and end up purchasing through that link. Um, any commissions go back to helping me run this channel, but you guys obviously don't have to. You can just like, comment, Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think about sailors and if you would add this pen to your collection. I think these are some of the most beautiful pens I've ever seen in my entire life and I'm really happy that they exist. I'm happy that you exist. So on that note, I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video.